Packing cubes. Lately, they've become incredibly popular among serious travelers. They make your suitcase more organized and less cramped. But which ones should you get? To make the task of picking out the right ones easier for you, I purchased six of the most popular packing cube sets on the market and tested them out for a while. Some of them I've been testing for over a year and some for a few months. But now I'm ready to reveal which ones are the best. To be exact, I tested the Eagle Creek Packet Spectre 2-piece compression cube set, the eBags Value 6-piece packing cube set, the Amazon Basics 4-piece packing cube set, the IKEA Forfina 6-piece packing cube set, the Shake Pack 5-piece packing cube set, and the Lean Travel 3-piece compression cube set. I've also made individual reviews for each one of these packing cube sets except the IKEA for Finna packing cube set. You can find them in the video description. Basically, I'll be dividing this video into five different sections. The best packing cubes, the best affordable packing cubes, the best compression cubes, the best affordable compression cubes, and other honorable mentions. You can find the product links for these packing cubes by going to the video description or by checking out our full article on Clever Journey. By the way, on this channel we post all kinds of videos related to traveling, so if you're interested in that, make sure to click the subscribe button. Before we begin, if you don't know the differences between packing cubes and compression cubes, here's a quick breakdown. The main thing that you need to know is that regular packing cubes come with only one zipper that closes the main compartment, but compression cubes come with two zippers, where the second one is meant for compressing all of the items inside. In another video, I did a test and I found out that regular packing cubes save about 5 to 10% of the total space, but compression cubes about 15 to 20%. But while compression cubes are better at saving space, they do result in more wrinkles. Usually compression cubes are more often used by minimalist travelers and backpackers, but regular packing cubes are more often used by regular travelers. I usually switch between both depending on how full my suitcase is and where I'm going. Sometimes you just don't care about wrinkles, for instance while hiking and compression cubes make more sense there. One pro for packing cubes is that they're quicker to use and you can easily identify what's packed inside each cube because the top part is covered with a fabric mesh panel. I can't really tell you whether packing cubes are better than compression cubes or vice versa because it depends on what kind of a traveler you are. But now that you know the differences between both, let's continue with the best overall packing cubes. If you're looking for the best overall packing cube set that's not too cheap and not too expensive, then go with the eBags packing cubes. I've got the 6-piece set, but you can also find them in 3- or 4-piece sets, which should do just fine for a single person. I've used these eBags packing cubes for over a year now, and they still look in a very good condition. They feel very premium, and they've used very durable materials on these packing cubes. They feature YKK zippers, which is the most durable zipper brand. And best of all, they're backed up by a lifetime warranty. So if anything goes wrong, eBags will fix it for you. Really, the only downside to the eBags packing cubes is that they're slightly more expensive compared to other similar affordable options. Another thing that I don't like in the 6B set specifically is that the three smaller cubes are sized kind of weirdly and they don't, don't fit inside my carry-on. You'd be better off by getting the three-piece or a four-piece set. But you know, other than that, I think that the eBags packing cubes is the best overall option on regular packing cubes that you can find. Now, if you'd rather not spend that much on packing cubes, there still are some great choices out there that are less expensive. Personally, I think that the Shake Pack 5-piece packing cube set is currently the best affordable packing cube set on the market. Not only are they one of the most affordable options, but they're also one of the most popular and well-reviewed ones. I purchased the Shake Pack packing cube set a few months ago, and I've been testing them ever since. They come in a 5-piece set with 4 packing cubes and one laundry bag for your dirty clothes. Now I do have to say that these 4 packing cubes are sized just perfectly. The 3 smaller ones are perfect for my carry-on. But uh, if you'd be using a checked suitcase, then the 4 packing cubes would be perfect for it. Compared to other options, the Shake Pack packing cubes are made from a thicker and more puncture-resistant fabric. They also come with YKK zippers, and overall everything seems decently made. Of course, with the lower price, you're compromising on support and warranty. 
but if you won't be traveling that often, it might not be that important to you. In the affordable range, I think that these ones are clearly the winners. But enough about packing cubes. Now let's check out compression cubes. Let's start with the best overall compression cubes, the Eagle Creek Packet Spectre two-piece compression cube set. I've owned this set for over a year now, and still I haven't had any issues. Let's begin by quickly covering the pros. The Eagle Creek compression cubes are incredibly lightweight. Other packing and compression cubes that I've mentioned in this video don't even stand close to how lightweight the Eagle Creek compression cubes are. The two pieces weigh just 4 ounces or 100 grams. Another pro is that they're made by Eagle Creek, which is a very reliable outdoor gear company and they're backed up by a lifetime warranty. They've used premium materials for these cubes such as sil nylon and YKK zippers. And the fabric is also semi-water resistant. In terms of compressing, you really can do a lot with these compression cubes. However, there are a few cons with this set. One is the cost. This two-piece compression cube set costs about twice as much as a three-piece or a four-piece compression cube set. Another one is that sometimes the fabric gets stuck in the zipper, which is annoying. And lastly, there aren't any fabric mesh panels on top, so it's harder to see what you've packed inside each compression cube. But other than that, these cubes are really great, and I think that they're the best compression cubes on the market, especially for backpacking. But if you aren't willing to spend that much on compression cubes, there's another option, the Lean Travel 3-piece compression cube set. In terms of cost, the Lean Travel 3-piece compression cube set costs just about the same as the Eagle Creek 2-piece compression cube set. The only difference is that this set has 3 pieces, not 2, and they're much larger compared to the Eagle Creek compression cube set. They do come with SBS zippers, which are good zippers, but not as good as YKK zippers. What's good about them is that there's a fabric mesh panel on top of each compression cube, which lets you see what you've packed inside them much easier. In terms of compression, they do the job just perfectly, because overall the Lean Travel compression cubes are very thick and very massive, which makes the job of compressing much easier to do. One negative is that these compression cubes are pretty heavy. The three-piece set weighs about 600 grams or 20 ounces. Another one is that they're made by an unknown brand, which means no support and no warranty. But because they're so affordable, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter too much. So if you're looking for affordable compression cubes, the Lean Travel compression cube set is the way to go. In addition to those four sets, I also purchased the Amazon Basics 4-piece packing cube set and the IKEA for Finna 6-piece packing cube set. Personally, I think that the Amazon Basics packing cubes are a cheaper knockoff of the eBags packing cube set because they're so similar. But don't get me wrong, the Amazon Basics packing cubes are a pretty good option. But I think that in the affordable range, the Shake Pack 5 piece packing cube set is a slightly better choice compared to this set right here. And now let's talk about the IKEA Forfina 6 piece packing cube set, which costs just 10 bucks. Although you can use them for their intended purpose, they feel really cheap and they don't really stay in a rectangular shape when they're packed full. Another thing is that the zippers on them feel really cheap and really fragile, so overall I wouldn't recommend the IKEA packing cubes as a long-term option. But you know, if you're traveling rarely and you're getting them only as a short-term option, then I guess they're fine because they're so cheap, but you know, don't expect them to last. If you want to find more about each packing cube set or find the product links, I've linked out to the full article in the video description. Also, if you're new here, make sure to click subscribe for more videos just like this one. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.